I've seen a lot of work done towards researching the recoil of the assault rifles in the latest weapon balance patch, but I've seen very little information about the actual damage output of these weapons. PUBG Corp has claimed that there is no objective best assault rifle, but the recoil charts from others would prove otherwise. However, it's not just about recoil. When you factor in weapon fire rate and damage, each assault rifle has a very unique damage per second output. I wanted to research the damage per second of all assault rifles to find whether there really was an objective best AR in the latest patch. To find the damage per second, my method was quite simple. I recorded the time it took to empty a full clip of ammo, I then multiplied the weapon damage by the number of shots fired in that time frame. Finally, I divided this number by the overall time to find the damage per second. To make sure the numbers were accurate, I ran the test multiple times with each weapon and I slowed the footage down initially to get precise timings. The Graza proved to have the highest damage per second by far. Not only did it have the shortest time to empty 30 bullets, but the damage was highest joint with the AK. The Orb came in second, but quite a big jump behind the Graza. We then start to see a slow downward trend towards the rest of the assault rifles, first with the M4, then the AK, then the SCAR, then the M16. I used the burst fire mode on the M16, but even still the fire rate was just too slow for it to compete with other ARs. Here's an overview of all of the assault rifle DPS stats together. The Graza stands out by a mile, doing over 100 DPS more than any other assault rifle. This jump in power makes sense, it's an airdrop only weapon. The AUG, on the other hand, is woefully weak when compared to the others. Despite being an airdrop only weapon, the AUG only comes slightly ahead of the M416. What's also shocking is the AKM's low fire rate, which essentially makes it a worse option than the M416, even if its recoil was improved. The SCAR falls short on damage as well, due to its slightly lower fire rate. The M16 still sits as a trash tier weapon at this point. I wanted to throw in some examples from other weapon classes as well. The DP28 is the best LMG, coming in at a whopping 730 damage per second. The Vector is also very impressive. If you watched my SMG video, you'll know that it is by far the best SMG right now. Its DPS sits at 574, putting it above everything else besides the Graza. As you'll know, it's not all about damage per second. Assault rifles have been so powerful in PUBG because they are great weapons at longer distances. This is where the recoil of each weapon comes into play. The less recoil, the easier it is to use a weapon on full auto at longer ranges. Wacky Jackie recently made an incredible recoil weapon analysis. I'll put the link in the description below. I've used Wacky Jackie's data and I have combined that with my own to create a graph to show the recoil versus damage output. Each weapon has a recoil forgiveness score out of 500 that correlates with the data Wacky Jackie showcased. The higher the recoil forgiveness, the easier the weapon is to control. This chart shows us how viable the weapons are with all things considered. There are a few things to note with this chart. Firstly, the M16 is very weak and yet it still has recoil that's difficult to control, making it pretty useless. The SCAR and M416 are at fairly even ground, although the M416 comes out ahead with slightly better damage and recoil control. The damage difference between the AUG and the M416 is negligible, but you are getting a massive boost in recoil control. Finally, we have the 7.62 weapons. In its current state, the AKM does very little to the meta. Its recoil and damage is worse than both M416 and SCAR, making it less useful in almost all situations. The Graza, on the other hand, proves to be a valuable trade-off. You have more recoil to deal with, but with that you have a huge boost in damage. In summary, the M416 is the best all-round AR from open world spawns. The SCAR is alright too, but it just falls short slightly. The AKM, and especially the M16, should be avoided. With the airdrop weapons, you have a choice. Incredible recoil control with well-rounded damage with the AUG, or insane damage potential at the cost of more vertical recoil with the Graza. Thanks for watching this video, I hope that this information has proven useful. If you'd like more information like this, make sure to follow us on Twitter, and you can also subscribe here for new videos.